Hey guys, it's Yuto here from SashiRecipes.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a popular Japanese sada dressing called goma dressing. This recipe is enough for one medium sized salad and only needs six ingredients. Two tablespoons of white sesame seeds, one teaspoon of soy sauce, one teaspoon of rice vinegar, one and a half teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon of sesame oil and two tablespoons of Japanese mayonnaise. So first I'm gonna toast the sesame seeds. Grab a frying pan and pour the seeds straight in. You don't need oil or anything. We're just gonna toast them dry on a medium high heat. Even if they're already toasted, a bit of extra toasting will intensify the sesame flavor. We want them to become a bit golden and really be able to smell the sesame fragrance. Because the heat is quite high, make sure you keep moving them around to stop them burning. I like to shake the pan around so that the seeds toast evenly. Okay, it's smelling great and the color is just right, so let's move on to the next step. Next, I'm gonna use a mortar and pestle to grind the sesame seeds into a fine powder. Not only will this make the sesame seeds mix in more smoothly with the dressing, but it also help release even more delicious sesame flavor. This is actually a Japanese style mortar and pestle. The mortar is called suribachi and the pestle is called surikogi. The suribachi has these vertical grooves running up the sides which create a rough surface that catches herbs and spices. The friction stops them from moving and makes it really easy to grind things down in just a few minutes. You could also use a coffee grinder or if you're making a large butt you could use a food processor instead. So the ground sesame is done. In Japanese it's called surigoma, can you guess what suri means? Finally we can mix the sauce, take a small bowl, add your ground sesame seeds, soy sauce, rice vinegar, sugar, sesame oil and Japanese mayonnaise. Then just mix them up. This dressing is very popular in Japan. You can use it on pretty much any salad. You can also use it on noodles or even as a dipping sauce too. So there you have it. Easy, nutty and delicious Japanese sesame dressing from scratch in less than 10 minutes. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. You can also subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with my newest recipes. Thanks again. See you next time.